Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Gajraj. Let's talk about oxidative stress, understanding the balance of life. At its core, oxidative stress refers to a disturbance in the delicate balance between oxidants and antioxidants in your body. Think of it like a seesaw. On one side, you have oxidants, often called free radicals, which are reactive molecules produced during normal metabolism, especially aerobic oxygen-using processes. On the other side, you have antioxidants, which are your body's defense system. When this balance is tipped too far in favor of the oxidants, that's when oxidative stress occurs, potentially leading to cellular damage and impacting signaling pathways. Merits of the term oxidative stress. Highlighting aerobic metabolism's balance. It powerfully conveys the idea that our oxygen-dependent metabolism exists in a steady state balance and disruptions to this balance trigger biological stress responses. Driving redox biology. It has spurned an overwhelming and fascinating area of research known as redox biology. This field investigates how oxidation reduction redox reactions are used in fundamental processes, including redox signaling and redox control. Molecular switches. Current research is booming on molecular redox switches like dynamic changes to cysteines in proteins and how these redox shifts link to crucial cellular signaling processes like phosphorylation, dephosphorylation. This helps us understand the specific molecular details of these responses. Master switch systems like NRF2, KEEP1 and NFKB in higher organisms are exciting areas of focus. However, the term also has pitfalls, overuse and misuse. It can become diffuse and nonspecific if not tied to clear redox chemistry. Oversimplification, it's often misused as a one size fits all explanation. Simply saying cells were exposed to oxidative stress isn't precise. It's better to state the specific oxidant used, e.g. hydrogen peroxide. Similarly, measuring total antioxidant capacity in blood often doesn't provide useful information. Individual antioxidant enzymes and molecules need to be assessed. Underestimating enzymes. It's important to remember that the major role in antioxidant defense is fulfilled by antioxidant enzymes, not just small molecule antioxidant compounds like vitamins. Linkage to inflammation. There's significant interest in the intricate connection between oxidative stress and inflammatory responses. For example, specific Molecules released under oxidative stress can act as danger signals to trigger inflammation. Redox diseases. Major diseases including type 2 diabetes are now being considered redox diseases, highlighting the central role of redox balance in pathology. Subcellular insights. Researchers are exploring the precise spatial and temporal organization of redox processes within different parts of the cell, including hydrogen peroxide metabolism and its link to cellular energy balance. Micronutrients and immunity. Viral and bacterial infections are often associated with deficiencies in micronutrients like selenium and affects both adaptive and innate immunity, showcasing how nutrient status can impact redox balance and disease susceptibility. As Han Selly, a pioneer in stress research, once suggested, if only stress could be seen, isolated and measured, I am sure we could enormously lengthen the average human lifespan. The ongoing rigorous effort in redox biology aims to precisely measure and understand oxidative stress, bringing us closer to that goal. 
I hope you have found this talk interesting. Please consider buying my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.